Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, you've got your four designs that you've done with Sharpie. You've got them all refined and they're on trace. They're exactly five by five inches. Okay, so you might wanna cut them out. Um, and so when you're cutting, what you're gonna wanna do is I would cut from your construction paper, four five inch square black pieces from the black construction paper, five inch square. And then also you're gonna wanna cut four five inch square pieces of Bristol board because remember, once you cut out the black for your designs, you're gonna mount it on this Bristol board. Okay, so there's two ways to start off. What I would do is when I look at all of these designs, um, I want to start, if, I, if I'm not really familiar that much with cutting, I want to start with the one that has the biggest shapes first because that will help me get into the rhythm of cutting. So I'm going to start with this one just because it has the biggest shapes and it seems like the most, and because it, it's the magnification, the abstract one, it's going to be the easiest um, to start off with. So I'm going to start off with that one. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can get another sheet of trace and basically just go back over your lines like you were doing when you did your line assignment. And if you want it to be exactly like it is on the, on your, uh, from your design, you just, I'm doing this freehand, which I shouldn't be doing, but I'm just going to, just giving you the, just reminding you of how to do this. Um, so you draw, you're gonna draw back over your design, okay? Um, and then remember, with a darker leg, you just go on the back and you put graphite on the back of the lines that you did, like this. Okay, and then you can transfer it right on to the black sheet of paper. Like this. And then remember, you're gonna go back over with, again, with your dark lead, like a 5B, a 6B, or an 8B, and you're gonna go back over and just draw right back over your lines. Like this. And then the, this will transfer right on to your black paper. And again, when you do this, you try to do it a lot slower than what I'm doing it. I'm just doing it for the purposes of this video. And I kind of did it too sloppy and too fast. Okay, so it might be hard to see in the video, but I can see my graphite lines. So I can start cutting from there now. If you don't wanna to have to transfer it like that, all you have to do is look at your original design and then just draw out on your sheet of black paper. You can just, you're basically just doing the drawing from your design and you're just drawing it right on the black paper, <clears throat> which you will then cut. Okay. And like I said, I, it's probably hard to see in the video, but I can, I can actually see um, the lines on the paper. I mean, when I transferred it. So it's, it's light, but you can still see it. Okay, so remember, when you're cutting, so you've got basically your design lines on your black sheet of paper, your construction paper, which is five by five. Remember, when you're cutting, always use the back of one of your pads of Bristol or your pad of... Um, tracing paper, make sure that your knife is completely sharp. It's like a brand new blade. Do never try to cut with a dull blade. Um, and just know that the reason why you're cutting on this cardboard and not on a table or something else is that this, this cardboard absorbs the knife. So it's much easier to cut. Okay, so when you're cutting, always cut, you know, towards yourself and stop. But remember, don't have the blade you know, 
you know, going too far in one direction of where your fingers are. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna cut down like this, and then I'm gonna cut this way like this. And remember, if you have a really, like a brand new blade, and you're cutting on this cardboard, and you're just because you're cutting construction paper, it, it, you should not have to use that much pressure at all, okay? So I've just basically cut out those two things. Now, when you're cutting something that's round, and you just, what, what you always want to do is, so I'm coming towards me, myself, and then once I start having to turn, I don't want to have to turn my hand or my wrist. I want to start turning the paper like into the cut. So as you can see, the, the blade isn't really like moving directionally that much, but what I'm doing is I'm turning the paper with the blade. So I'm not having to use my wrist and, and have the knife come towards me like this. Okay, so as you can see, I've just cut out this piece, this piece is that piece. Okay, so now what's happening is <clears throat> I'm cutting out this larger, this larger piece right here. So again, when you're cutting, just make sure you hold your paper down, keep your fingers away from the blade, and then just start turning the paper. And again, I'm barely using any pressure at all because I have a brand new, and you can also, if you want, you can lift this up like this and then start having it turn towards you like this. Um, but I'm ba there's barely any pressure because the paper is so, I mean, it's, it's got like a nice stock to it, but it's not, you don't have to use a lot of pressure. So again, I'm just turning like this here, like this, like that. Okay, so that's basically that design. So now, if I look at this on my Bristol board, like this, this is what I'm gonna end up basically mounting on my Bristol board with my rubber cement, which I will show you in a minute. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount our black pieces that we cut out on the white Bristol board, which is five by five. Also, I just wanna make sure that when I cut these out, if I used, again, you just clean up your pencil lines. Um, you just want the pieces to look as good as possible. So you don't want like big, strong graphite lines all over your pieces. Um, you could also, I mean, you can also erase the pencil lines once you get it mounted, but I would just mount it now. Okay, so we're, we're using rubber cement because it's a lot, with glue, you can't clean it up. Once you make a mistake with glue, then it's just, you're stuck with it and it, you just can't get rid of any kind of mess you make. So when you're using the rubber cement, just make sure, regardless of what size bottle you have, you try to get off as, as much excess, you don't need that much, try to get as much excess off your brush as you possibly can, okay? And then as you can see, I'm just gonna go on the back here, um, just dabbing it on the back like this. And again, if you get any excess off on another on your other piece of paper or on something else, it doesn't matter because you're gonna be able to use your rubber cement pickup to clean it up, okay? So I have my white piece of Bristol board and now I'm just going to lay down my black piece of paper, just flush on that, that was some excess rubber cement. Like so, just like that, okay? You don't need to put any, any down on the, on the Bristol board. You just need to do it on the back of your black construction paper. Um, okay, so then again, I'm gonna put some on the back. And again, I didn't dip back in to the bottle because there was still enough on the, on the brush itself that I didn't need to do that. And now I'm going to put this piece down, like so, like that. Okay, I'm just gonna show you if I get excess like that, I'm gonna leave that, let it dry and show you how to do smaller pieces now. 
Okay, so we're gonna put this aside. Okay, so say you were doing your design, like your rhythm or something that has more detail in it, right? Um, and so you have smaller pieces that you're gonna have to mount. So what you wanna do is on an excess sheet of paper, if you lay down some rubber cement on the excess sheet, just like this. So I, I put a bunch down on this extra sheet like this. Um, and you can wait, like, don't wait too long, but you can wait like a minute or two. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you how to do this now. So, again, when you have smaller pieces like these that are equivalent to what would be in this design, what you do is you lift up the piece with your X-Acto knife. It's almost like surgery. And then I put it down, when I laid down the rubber cement on the scrap piece, I put it down like this. I put some rubber cement on the back of it and I lift it back up with my knife. And again, as you can see, sometimes it, it, it's not too easy to do. Okay, so as you can see there, I'm gonna put this piece here like this. It's just, it's much easier to do, to glue smaller pieces and glue it with you know dipping it into something on another sheet then using that brush to do it on the back of the piece like this so this this piece right here i'm going to again i'm going to dip it into where i laid down the rubber cement on this piece i just little put back in i lift it back up now i'm going to mount it like this like that so basically you're just using your exacto knife to lift up smaller pieces and once you get everything laid out and where you want it, um, and remember, if there's excess, you're going to be able to use your rubber cement pickup. Okay. So again, smaller pieces on a scrap piece. Lay down some rubber cement on it. It'll it won't dry completely for like three or four minutes, and then just start um, after you cut out your smaller pieces. Then just use your blade to dip it, put some on the back, and then put it, and then try to mount it from that point on. Okay, so and as you can see, this part right here that I made a mistake earlier, or I got some extra rubber cement, I'm going to use my rubber cement pickup, and what it's going to do is it's going to lift all the excess rubber cement that I made that I made a mistake or I made the mess with, and it's going to lift it all up, and it's going to make it like it was never even there. Okay. Um, you could probably also use like a kneaded eraser to do that. Um, the other thing is, is that if you can also, once it's really dry, you can also really use your finger. Just when you, when you lift it up, try not to lift it off until it's like completely dry. That wasn't completely dry. It still lifted it off, but sometimes what will happen is, is that it, it might stain. Um, if you do it too fast and it's still too wet, it might stain the paper. Anyhow, so when you do your four designs and you get them all, all the black, shapes on the white bristol board then you're going to mount the four pieces on a sheet of another white sheet of bristol board with one inch one inch border and then one inch be in between everything 